And it's this recognition that everything is education that we can see that we in the classroom and those outside the classroom need to work together to cultivate an environment in the institution that's doing this, that's, do, that's, 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 that's inspiring inquiry, that's providing tools about living well. Someone said, I just want to, I just want to like have well-being or something like that. You know, I just want, to, I want a life of, you know, of being well or something. I can't remember exactly what you said. But that, how do you do that? Cool question. But we think of the resources at a residential college. Why would you have a residential? Why wouldn't it just do this all virtually? That's a, that's a cool question, right? You could do a lot of things. You want to download a lot of information? You know, I, had to, I, have, a, I have a laptop. I'm not, you know, I don't know much about it. It was a, like an Apple kind, so it's all locked up and, you know, screwed together kind of a thing. I wanted to put new, new ba uh, memory in it. I went to YouTube. How do you put <laughs> a new you know, there? Great educational video. Followed the instructions, you know, did it. It was like, thank you very much. You know, Harris 22. <laughs> but residential colleges are very different places. Because residential colleges are not about just how do you put more memory in your computer. Residential colleges can be places where the entire environment is supporting an inquiry into what are you cultivating right now on Friday night, on Thursday morning, on Sunday. And you have amazing people to support that inquiry. 